This video is about thyroid ophthalmopathy. So thyroid ophthalmopathy, also called Gray's ophthalmopathy, is an organ-specific autoimmune disease associated with the thyroid dysfunction due to the formation of antibodies against thyroid receptors. In 60%, there will be a thyroid hyperfunction at the same time. Women are more frequently affected than men. The symptoms are proptosis due to stimulation of the ritual orbital fibroblastic cells as well as eyelid restriction and diplopia due to swelling and fibrosis of the intraorbital muscles. Sometimes you also find an enlargement of the lacrimal gland and a dilated superior ophthalmic vein. The so-called Merseburg trials signifies an exophthalmus due to a thyroid hyperfunction as well as goiter and tachycardia. When doing an MRI scan, you find a thickening of the intraorbital muscles which is bilateral in 90% of cases. Here you have an example though, where there is only one eye, the right eye, affected. You see marked thickening of the intraorbital muscles, which are bright in the story sequence. After contrast enhancement, you see marked contrast enhancement also, which is again untypical because normally you have a diminished contrast enhancement, which shall be due to reduced microcirculation and perfusion. With a mnemonic I am slow, you can memorize the sites of predilections of the affected eye muscles. In decreasing order, it is the rectus inferior muscle, the rectus medialis muscle, and the rectus superior muscle. Also the three muscles that are the most affected in this case, inferior, medial, and superior. Rarely, the rectus lateralis and the oblique muscles are affected. Also, you can measure the proptosis on axial imaging by drawing the line between the anterior and lateral orbital wall. The dorsal wall of the eye bulb should lie at least 5.9 mm dorsal this line to be considered normal. The thyroid ophthalmopathy is bilateral in most of the cases, as already mentioned. If only one eye is affected, as in this case, you have to think of several differential diagnoses, like the inflammatory pseudotumor, which is a very painful condition. Unlike with thyroid ophthalmopathy, you often find an enlargement of the rectus lateralis muscle, as well as the lacrimal gland. Other differential diagnoses include sarcoidosis and metastasis, especially of breast and lung cancer as well as a melanoma and carcinoid. Also, an orbital cellulitis can cause a thickening of the eye muscles due to myositis. In this case, you have to look for a superostal abscess and sinusitis. For a superative therapy, you can give artificial tear supplements. Apart from that, you can try steroids if unsuccessful, aeration therapy. In chronic cases, there is the option of surgical decompression in correction of strabism. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.